So let, let me uh, pick up, uh, this is the third part of HTML, the after the hello world. This is what you're supposed to um, get looking um, at your at your um, your first hello world program with it. So let me go back to the code and just to explain some things that we can actually um, uh, make sense out of all this right now with it because I don't want to rush through this and slow this down so you can see what we're doing is 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 it's a presentation language and let me do this on um, let me create this this is the this is what we just typed up right uh, like any part of this video if you need to please pause and this is the page that you are storing this on. It says hello world Dangelox H1. And this is the paragraph tag. You see the font size are different. This is on my local computer. You can see the path up here. That's what this is what my path looks like. Yours is nothing like this, believe me. So do everybody local directory is different. You just need to store this on somewhere with it. And this is the this is the code that's behind this particular web page with it. So let me bump this over here and I like to use Notepad to document what, what are these things with it. So um, first off, the um, I'm going to explain explanation explain the, these codes um, with it. So um, let's see here. Let's see what we go to do. Let's see. Let's start with this first one here. So this the first one right here is this this line right here, and I share with you the doc type. This um, declare this declaration is um, defined your um, document that you're doing is uh, to be the HTML. Okay, five. That's what the version that we're using with it. Okay. The second one that we look at is the HTML tag, which is this, and the closing of the tag. I just got, I'm just going to take one of them over here so you can see what is the HTML tag. So the HTML tag, basically, it tells you is these are elements. Um, is the root element, to be exact, with it uh, of the HTML okay. um, page with it. So it tells you this is a hypertext markup language with it as well. Let's take this one, next one over here. It says head tag. Of course, you know there's a starting and there has to be a closing with it. So this is the head and I'm going to actually come down talk to you about what is the head tag with it. This element um, basically contains um, the meta information about the document. So if you're familiar with what's called meta tags or any documents like this text document I'm typing has meta tags behind it. There, there are files that are just tags that they put behind inside Microsoft Word has its own meta tag. So every file has different meta tags that comes in with it. In this case, HTML, the meta tags are contained between the head tags. Okay. Now the other one is title which is this one right here, okay, which is inside your head tag. So this tag, or I'm called this element that you have, basically with it, is specify a title for the document. Okay. And the other one uh, is the body tag, which is this one. Okay. And I'm going to that over here. Specify this is all these are elements we're talking about, right? In in our page with it. And every page has these basic elements, contains the visible page content. That's the body tag with it. Okay. Um, H1, well this is another elements that are tag that you could that we use. And this is this element um, defines uh, a large, basically large heading. You know, there's H1, H2, H4, H5, H6. Six. six is the smallest one with it. And the last one I'm going to talk to you about here is the P tag, which is the paragraph tag. 
with it. So the paragraph tag, and there's a lot of these tags where I'm going. We're just going to get started with this. But we're only getting started with this as well. So there, there are hundreds of these tags where I'm learning uh, paragraph tags with it. Okay. So HTML elements. This is what you're, you're looking at right now. Okay. So one of the things I want to for you to see that these elements are becoming very, very important. Um, and these tags that you, that you see, um, they have these lesser than sign and greater than sign with it. So HTML are elements uh, name surrounded um, by what's called angle, these angle brackets. Okay, so this is what I'm talking. These are angle brackets. Okay, so th this is an element, and the moment you put it in an angle bracket, it becomes a tag. Okay, so um, that's how we define things with the way how things are looking with it as well. So, um, <clears throat> so HTML normally comes in pairs with it. So they they're always they come in pairs with it, and here's the pair. This is the pair, this is the pair. And we said this is nested inside of each of the tag. They're nested like a bird's nest with it. All right. So HTML, um, HTML tags comes in pair. All right. One at the beginning, one at the end with it. All right. That's the second thing we need. The other thing we need about the end tag um, is written um, like the the start tag, but with a forward slash uh, inserted before before the tag. Okay, so you see there's a forward slash. These are all the forward slash I'm talking about right here. Okay, so that's just give you some definitions of what we're doing right now. Let me wrap this thing up with it, and I'm going to close this right here right now and end this um, hello world uh, for us sections with it as well.